assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone from kativigal.net this is the learning series of pcb designing in proteus software and today uh, the topic is layout designing in the last video we have uh, designed the circuit in proteus isis and in this video we will design the layout of the circuit and as an example i will take triple five timer <clears throat> so let's start this one is a circuit which we designed in the previous video so in this video we will transfer the circuit in the Aries so before transferring this circuit in Aries uh, there are some modifications which need to be done like this is a <coughs> DC generator so it has no layout so in real life we use PCB connectors like uh, these so we use these to connect the battery or other uh, DC sources <coughs> So what I will do, I will go here in the library, I will search for connectors and I will type T terminal blocks and I will select uh, this one terminal block 2 it has a distance of 0.2 inch I will select it and then I will rotate it and one side I will delete this I will delete this and I will connect one with the VCC and the other terminal with the ground and I will call this power so now uh, to transfer this circuit in uh, PCB in Aries we will click on this PCB layout button and this black screen will appear <coughs> so here first of all uh, what I will do I will take the measurement of the PCB which I have so I will approximate the size of the PCB uh, the size of this PCB is about uh, <coughs> 53 millimeters or 5.3 centimeter so here in Aries I will first click on this M button what this M button will do it will uh, take all the measurements in millimeters so that will be easier for us to calculate so first step I will uh, I have to define the board edge I will click this 2D graphics box mode then I will select board edge then I will zoom in and I will click on this now there are two measurements which are going below one is the width and other one is the height so the width and height both are 53 so I will take it to 53 then I will move upward vertically 51 2 and 53 and horizontally 53 then I will click now this is the board edge and if you will uh, want to see 3d I'll click on 3d visualizer and <coughs> this one is the board edge this is 53 by 53 millimeters so we will go back so now I will click on the component mode and the first we will place the basic component triple five timer is the main component I will rotate it like this and then I will click on C1 so these green lines are showing me the wire connections so keep them near as possible <coughs> I will place it here and then I will click on C2 rotate it so I think this position is best for it then I will click on power I will place it here and then 4.7k resistor place it here <coughs> and the other one here start LED for LED you will click yes and then type LED double click and here we have an LED <coughs> so there is one thing missing which I forget you should add a diode in, in on this place library D I U E select diode so, 
there are two more things uh, <coughs> rename them 4.7k 1k 4.7k because they are two so they will conflict with each other that's why I've changed the name did you F <coughs> this is 100 nanofarad that's it now you have noticed the names of them have changed so they will be helpful for us when we will design the PCB <coughs> now I have to do some settings I will click on design rule manager <coughs> Then uh, pad clearance, I will select it to 12, change it to 12, trace to trace the, uh, the two, I will tell you later what is trace and pad, click on the net classes, bottom copper, then this is trace style, these are the, this is the width of the wire which you will use, T30, T30 60 we don't use wires but selected T30 you have to do this two times one for signal and one for power <coughs> and then we will click OK and then I will click on auto router click on begin routing so now software has rooted the circuit now uh, you will notice these uh, these are very small pads these are called pads and these pads are called traces <coughs> these are traces so we have set the size of these things in the setting <coughs> you can move them if you feel that they could short and <clears throat> so now uh, I will do something you click on the pad round pad and I will select T30 it will change the pads <clears throat> because uh, they are very big and they could short with each other so I have changed them 70 30 So that's it. Now we'll see it in 3D. <coughs> so here is the circuit, and this is the bottom side. These are traces. <coughs> now we want to write something on it. So what you will do, you will go here, click on the A. So we will write here. <coughs> dot. You can select the font here. Example Arial Black. Default size which I usually use is 0.16 or 0.17. Now its color is yellow which is showing its bold dash. I have to change the layer. I will right click on it. Layer. Top Silk top silk is the layer which appears on the top and if you want to write something on the bottom copper side then you will do same step <coughs> you will rotate it on x axis change the layer to bottom copper and just place it here now I will go in the 3d this top side and this is bottom side so the tax is written on it <coughs> so that's it I think it's complete we have designed the layout in the Proteo series so that's all for this video 
uh, if you like this video share it with your friends and also like the page and subscribe to the youtube channel for upcoming videos until the next video thanks for watching and allah hafiz